Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday morning for a hot cup of coffee and a hot cup of the Word of God. Mishpatim, Judgments, is our Torah portion for this week. And our Sidra, our Aliyah, our passage for today is Exodus chapter 21, uh, starting with verse 20, going all the way to chapter 22, verse 3. But let's hang out in chapter 22 and read the first three verses. If a thief found breaking in is struck so that he dies, there's no blood guilt on him. But if the sun had risen, there is blood guilt, and he is to make full restitution. If he has nothing, then he must be sold for his theft. If the item is found in his hand alive, whether ox, donkey, or sheep, he is to pay double. So this is a law that we can practically apply today, which originally was applied to the Western world law because the you know the civil laws of the western world are based on the torah but now we live in a society where the perpetrator the thief has more rights and protection than the homeowner but we see here in this that if a thief is found breaking and entering and he's struck so that he dies so it's implying that it's nighttime you can't see who it is you called out and he's not answering you know so you grab a baseball bat or you grab a knife and you kill this guy because you don't know if he's come in to murder you to rape your wife to burglarize your possession so you're just protecting your castle you kill him no blood guilt but if the sun had risen in other words if you can see who it is there's a chance you can Find out who it is, might be a friend, might be somebody in the wrong house, might be a mistake, or he might be a burglar. But yet when you see him, you are better able to apprehend him without killing him. So unless your life is threatened, unless he tries to kill you, don't kill this guy. If you see who he is and the sun's risen, he's breaking and entering, just try to restrain him. But if the sun has risen, there is blood guilt and he is to make full restitution. So now it's talking about the thief. If he has nothing, he must be sold for his theft. So they didn't go to jail back in the Bible time. They didn't have jail. They just had temporary holding cells until a judgment was rendered. It's not like somebody sat on death row for years or sat in jail and, and served a term of, you know, four, 20 years, whatever. It was like they were there until they went to court and either they paid a fine or they died. That was pretty much it. And so if a, if a thief is caught, and he can't restore what he has stolen, then he is to be sold as a slave. And, uh, so verse three, if the item is found in, in his hand alive, whether it be a ox, donkey, or sheep, he is to pay double. So it kind of reminds me of Zacchaeus, tax collector. He skimmed off the top. He gave Rome what Rome wanted, but he took a little bit for himself. And he says, Lord, to show you I'm truly repentant, I'm gonna pay everybody back you know, um, you know, double, I think it's double if I remember the story correctly. In other words, it's like, I'm just gonna, not going to give them back what I own. I'm going to give them more. And I think that this verse was being implied when he said this. So I said I would read to verse 6, I believe. Uh, no, 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 that's good. We'll just stay at verse 3. Uh, we may pick up something else later. But uh, I just wanted to uh, um, show where our Western world gets a lot of our laws and how they should be applied in the society that we live in. Sadly, that's not so much the case, but we see Torah's point of view and we know that God is holy, so we know this view is right. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.